read a book, get a new hobby, like do something with your life. Don't waste your minutes now. Don't waste your airtime. Like just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs>
can you please stop wasting my time and just tell me what you want already and i'm like also in the call i was busy mentioning yo if you were really serious about whatever you wanted you would have called me with your real number you would have told me who you are and he said i already did tell you who i am and i'm like no you didn't and he claims he did i hung up again because i really got tired i got so tired he calls again and i'm like what do you want he's like you're going to give me what i want or i'm going to kill you when <sighs> what did this person just say to me yo did this person really just say what i think he just said because now when he said that on the call keep in mind it's so early on a saturday i was complaining to him saying you can't just call people this early in the morning like i'm tired like why 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 what are you doing like disturbing my peace like this and i was like in my head pause wait what what like i i was battling to process what this person had just said even though i knew exactly what he said so i'm also gonna be like what did you just say because i heard exactly what you said i'm just trying to comprehend why you would escalate things to this point i started getting scared because i'm like starting to feel like yo what if this guy knows where i live what if he's outside my bedroom window right now telling me all this stuff and he's ready to fucking like i don't know i don't know i didn't even say a word after that call dude i didn't say a thing i hung up and you can't even block you can't block a person that called you with a private number i first called the emergency number thing on like iphones because this was serious now it was getting really serious to me it was really serious guys like i can't take certain things as a joke and be like <laughs> you play and stop playing <laughs> eventually they did pick up and you know i'm telling them yo i'm scared someone just called me with a private number threatening to kill me because they want something from me and if i don't give it to them they're gonna kill me and this lady was asking me do you need the police or an ambulance and I'm telling her as honestly as possible, like, I'm not trying to waste the police time, you know, and I don't need an ambulance. I just need to know, like, what to do. Like, can you tell me what to do? Because even if I tell you that I need the police to come to my house, what are they going to do if the person's not even here? The person's not even here. And we can't really track this private number now, can we? She tells me, just call your service provider. Is that all you have to tell me really but i mean she gave me you know an alternative thing to do i guess so i didn't call the service provider but instead i called my best friend you can hear in her voice that she's really tired because i had just woken her up and she's like hello and as soon as she picked up and as soon as i was about to start like speaking i just started crying I started crying i told her i'm scared and then she got like you know she like you know woke up a bit because now she's hearing me crying telling her i'm scared like she's concerned as to like what's going on now like what happened she was shocked so while i was still on the phone with my best friend like that same private number was still trying to get a hold of me guys that person did not like stop calling so it was getting really scary like this person is not leaving me alone now talking to my best friend and she was just telling me how i should you know tell my parents i should tell my parents so after the call i went straight to my parents room unfortunately my mom was not home because she left earlier on in the morning for like a funeral or something like that and then so my dad was the one who was available so i was crying i've never cried to my dad you know with any problems that i had you know 
I've never come to him crying, you know, asking him for advice or help, you know. I felt like I couldn't even speak. So he was asking me what's wrong and I told him about how, you know, I received a call, it was very threatening and I'm not about to take it lying down. So well, what are we gonna do? He just told me to switch off my phone, give it to him and then basically go back to sleep. But the problem was I could not go back to sleep. I couldn't go back to sleep and just pretend that nothing had happened because once I went back to my room, I was completely alert. I was wide awake. I was just having these weird like imaginations that like someone was just invading my space. So I was not comfortable enough to go back to sleep. So I just decided to get up and go about my day. It's the evening now. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna get my phone back, you know things have dialed out i think so i asked my dad if i can get my phone back he says no can i get my phone back you know my phone can i get it back he's like no they thought that this person was like you know trying to get to them in a way I didn't think that at first but i mean it kind of would have made sense but still like, i had to go offline um, during the rest of my finals without a phone so they were like nah you're not getting your phone back until the end of finals you need to concentrate and like forget about this because it, we don't want it to mess with you know your result or anything like that and I understood that I really did so I respected that although it crushed me you know being offline not knowing what's going on really you need to get off social media you need to delete your instagram you need to one two three and i'm just like hold it right there mm -hmm. why would i do that i'm not going to do that things are becoming more technological you know come on we i don't think we're thinking this through now i understand you're scared of my safety like i'm not going to do that no 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 they thought now i'm not taking my life seriously like i'm not th i'm not thinking about my safety now and all that stuff which was really not the case like i learned my lesson just don't pick up private calls ever again or be careful of what information you put out there i had zero idea of who it could have been so that was the worst part i had zero clue like just grow up Use your minutes on your crush. That concludes the end of my story time about the scariest call of my life. Lesson learned. Should not have like continued to entertain this person that I didn't know. If you enjoyed the story or found it like really interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And see you next time. Bye.